Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning in to another episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's second topic, the Ravens are trying to make more moves. Look, Jadavion Clowney, I know a lot of you know him um, from the Browns. They are bringing him in for a visit to see if they could uh, sign him and get him to join the defensive line. Yep. They are trying to bolster the defensive line. And I told y'all already, with Ajabo being hurt this long, even though they're saying there's nothing serious, he's being held out. They don't want any mishaps of saying that they have no pass rushes because the way that they play defense, they're going to need edge rushers to because uh, they don't want to blitz as much. So they want to bring in a veteran guy. I, I surely thought Justin Houston they were going to bring him back in. I think that they felt that Jadavian Clowney was a better choice at this stage in their careers. So that's where they're going. Now, uh, with that all being said, somebody broke down everything. Pedro S. Rones on Twitter broke down his grades. Um, and I'm talking about Clowney's grades for last season. Now, check this out. All right. Clowney was rated fifth in run defense grade. Third in tackling grade, eighth in pass rush grade, sixth in defensive grade overall, 13th in snaps, and that's with a minimum of 100 snaps. And to make matters worse, what he brought up in here, which I totally agree with, the Ravens are going to have them in rotation. And when he was in Cleveland, he was playing double the snaps, I believe, or almost triple the stat uh, snaps that Justin Houston played. That's crazy, right? Exactly. So if they have him on a pitch count and is working him in, that means that he'll be able to stay <clears throat> healthier longer because it'll be less on his plate. Now look, I've... I've never been a huge, huge fan of Jadavian Clowney. I felt like he was a physical freak, and he just never went beyond the physical freak that he could have been. I think when people saw him, they thought maybe, just maybe, he could be something like a Julius Peppers, even though Julius Peppers is like 6'7", but he's like 6'5", 6'6". He's huge. And I felt like with his type of um, versatility and athleticism, that's what people were leaning on. They're like, hey, he could be this guy. But he just never turned out into him. Now, here's the thing. Jadavian Clowney's been an extremely good football player. He hasn't been great. He's been really, really, really good. And he's always been on that, that, that mark where it's like, oh, he's almost there. But he never quite passed the threshold. But now the Ravens are looking to get him to bolster this line. And tell you the truth, at this point, I'm not against the signing. Look, we are right now decimated um, at the D-line. Not so much overall. Decimated might not be the word, but we are slightly injured in the D-line. Where it's, it's, it's noticeable enough that they know in a, in a, in a long, strenuous season, they're going to need as much bodies as they can. And not just bodies. Talented bodies. And Jadavian Clowney is talented. If you could say anything else about his career, he is talented. And also, real quick, I brought up even his stat, uh, for stat music stats. I think his career, he has 43 sacks, 13 forced fumbles, interception, 224 tackles. He's played in nine seasons for four teams. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. What's the most he's ever had? I'm going to check real quick. The most sacks he's ever had is nine. He's had 9.5, 9, and then another 9. So he had uh, two 9-sack uh, seasons in Houston and then one 9-sack season in Cleveland. And we already know that, you know, he couldn't get anything going in Tennessee because he was hurt all the time in Tennessee. But, I mean, he played a decent amount of games for Cleveland. Let's see, 14 and 12 games played. You know what I mean? Not bad at all. He could play. Look, I at this point, I just I know that they're just trying to fill in the gaps, fill in the holes, any which way possible, and I'm not against it. 
We need as much talented people on this team as possible because you're never going to be good at every position. It's impossible. It's impossible. But what you want to do is have guys talented enough that their talent can uh, overshadow some of your deficiencies. And right now, uh, health has always been our Achilles heel. My God. Sometimes I'll be looking and I'll be like, why can't we all just be healthy? Some teams are healthy the entire year. They might lose one guy for the entire year. And the guy that they lose is, is, is a practice guy. Not the Ravens. No. Never the Ravens. Everybody hurt, 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 hurt. It's frustrating. Frustrating. Oh, yeah. And on that, too. Right? I was saying. <laughs> it kind of frustrated me. <clears throat> and I wasn't mad. But I was like, man. Pat, they're really working out Patrick Ricard at O-line. Could you guys imagine? Imagine this man lining up at tackle. Now, look, everybody's saying he wouldn't be at tackle, of course. He'd be at guard. Uh, but Harbaugh likes to push the envelope when it comes to placing players in different positions. And this man just says yes to everything. Patrick Ricard should be called Aki. I don't know if y'all ever watched Twitter and saw the guy from New York when he made the bacon, egg, and cheese, and he made it the Aki way. That should be Patrick Ricard's new name. Because any position Harbaugh asked him to do, he'd just be like, sure. That's all he says. Sure. Sure. You want to play O-line? Sure. You want to play D-line? Sure. You want to play tight end? Sure. You want to play fullback? Sure. You want to coach the team? Sure. I'm just waiting for him to play backup quarterback next. He's probably going to be like, Taysom Hill did it, you know. Because that's how Harbaugh talks. Uh, you know, uh, Taysom Hill is a great uh, 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 athlete. But we think Patrick Carr is a better athlete. And I think he'd be a great backup quarterback on this team. He's so big. He's so strong. He's so fast. He's just a pure athlete. And if Taysom Hill can do it, he can do it too. And you know what, he, you know what Patrick Ricard would say to be in the backup quarterback of this team? Sure. That's all he would hear. He's Aki. <laughs> the Aki way. <laughs> I'm dead serious with you, bro. Yo, Patrick Aki Ricard. <laughs> I swear. Anything, bro. And look, I get it. You know, when you're, when you're able, like when you're a Swiss Army knife, you're going to be used as a Swiss Army knife. I get it. But, man, look, I I, I need guys that are going to protect Lamar. Now, now, look, if Patrick Ricard steps in and plays very well, then I'm glad he's Aki. I'm glad he's saying, sure, because I'll be real with you. You know, he protects Lamar. But this is the same thing what I've been saying from before. That sometimes the Ravens put too much a hope and expectation on injured players it's the same thing that they did with ronnie they put way too much on his back too much expected it rushed him back and then he got hurt and then he was out for x amount of time now we're looking now i think that they're trying to play it a little more slow trying to be a little less aggressive and wanting them on the field but you know the damage was done from a year ago now a job was a special thing because we got him hurt you know what I'm saying? We got him with a ding. On his Carfax, he already had a collision on, on his Carfax. You know what I'm saying? So that, that he's the exception to the rule, but everybody else is like, dang. But look, I'm not against the Ravens filling in the holes. I just want the people that they fill the holes in with to be quality pieces. And Jadavian Clowney is a quality piece. I don't care what anybody says. He's a quality piece. So... You know, if we get him, shout outs to Eric DaCosta and, you know, crew. If we get him, hopefully we can pull that off. But I, man, I'm still feeling uneasy seeing Patrick Ricard on the line, man. I'm desperate. I had a nightmare about it the other night. I am so serious. But tell me what you think down in the comment section. Do you think Jadavian Clowney is the piece that we need on the defensive line? And do you think I'm correct about Patrick Ricard being Patrick, a.k.a. the Aki way Ricard? Anything he does, anything Harbaugh says, he says, sure. Let me know down in the comment section, all right? But that's an episode of The Wonder Kid. Sure. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And now we get down, we have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? 
facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a comment. You know, I like the comments. Just be respectful, please. And if you want to support the channel while getting more content, check out the Wonderkins Patreon. Yes, that is up. Three tiers. What do you get with it? Discord, fantasy football, uh, sweepstakes for merch. All that stuff is in there. Plus, if you go into some of the higher ones, you'll get your sign-up stuff on the screen, at the bottom of the screen while I'm doing the shows and everything else, and during lives. So, you already know, it's a lot. Check it out, tell me what you think. And if you want to donate to the channel to help with equipment and stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every single video that we do, and the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Easy. But once again, this is the Wonderkin Show. This show is Nitro signing off. And as always, you guys know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Yeah.